Hey guys, we are going to construct a perpendicular bisector to our line segment AB. So first of all, let's talk about what a perpendicular bisector is. It is a line that we want to go through here that is perpendicular, meaning it's 90 degrees. And also it's a bisector, which means it cuts this line segment exactly in half. All right, so how are we gonna do that? Well, we are going to use a compass, all right? This one's really great. If you're interested in it, I'll have a link down at the bottom for you. It came with this little set, but any compass you have is fantastic. So what we're going to do is we are going to set our compass on one of our points. Doesn't matter if you start right or left. And we want it to be open to bigger than the halfway point. Now, obviously we don't know exactly where the halfway point is. That's what we're looking for. But just eyeball it and be like, okay, that's, that's bigger than half right? And then we're going to make our big swoop. I don't know if this has an official math term. If it does, enter it here. We're making a big swoop, okay? Now, keeping our compass the same size, that is key. Keeping our compass the same size, we are going to do the same thing on the other side, all right? Big swoop. There we go. All right, now you probably guessed what we're going to do next. We are going to connect these two intersection points. So here is my ruler, lining it up. And we are going to make our line here. And look at that. Of course, if you wanted to, if the swoops are distracting, you can erase them if you'd like. But this is my 90 degree angle. That is the perpendicular and the bisectors that it's in half. Now you can always check to make sure that these are equal to each other with a ruler or something. So we are almost six and a half centimeters there and almost six and a half centimeters there. Now, because I'm a human and not a machine, it might not be <laughs> completely, totally exactly half, right? But it's pretty darn close. And of course you could always check, you can pretty much check visually, but you could always check and make sure that that is looking like 90 degrees perpendicular and that looks pretty good to me. All right, if you need some more of these construct videos, I will link a playlist for you, thanks.